Hey guys, what's up? The Weapon here bringing you another episode of NBA 2K22 My Career Mode. If you guys enjoy, smash that like button down below and hit that subscribe button. And let's first, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's do it. Way for the NBA. Oh, that grab that ball, Harden. There's a steal already. Lovely work. Great start to a game. Great start. Should also mention we got Kyrie, DeAndre Ayton, and James Harden from trades. Shoot that three. They left me wide open. What are they doing? Uh, let's get a pick and roll going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot that. Nice. Great dunk. Great dunk. Oh, the dunk got blocked. Woo! Oh, he leaned too much there. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Go for it. Bang! Oh! Off the glass and in for the alley oop. What alley oop that was. That was phenomenal. Oh, there's a seal. Thank you very much. And up the court come the Pistons on the break. Up we go! Oh! Another self alley oop there. On the court right now for Cleveland. Sexton and Okuro, they're the There we go! Mobley and Allen. Lovely assist there. Great start. Great start. And he's able to get I need a pick and roll here. He's going around him! Oh, that's an easy pick and roll, an easy assist there. Lovely work. Oh! I took the charge there? I didn't expect that to happen to us. Oh, damn, Akora is only on four turnovers. <laughs> Send me that pick and roll. Go! Yes! There's our 10th assist right there, and there's the double double. First one of the season. Great work. Oh, there's a steal! And there's our triple double. Lovely work. And we're going to finish that off with hitting 30 points. Lovely work. Oh, there's another steal as well. Why not? Go for it. Bang. Oh! Woo! What a self alley oop that was. Go hard. An easy alley oop for you, mate. Lovely work. Yeah, possible. Paints wide open. Easy one hand slam there. Lovely work. Oh, are you serious? Dude, come on. I fell it out again. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Uh, nothing you can do about that. Um, yeah, you know what? There is actually something you can do about that and stop fouling, of course. But we did get 13 steals or something like that. I'm really happy with that. Uh, phenomenal first game. Like, honestly, I'm so thrilled. Let's go with a bit of John Luck. I need more Johnny Luck in my life. What's going on, brother? Okay, we have to start here. You were pinging the ball all over the place tonight, MP. Now, I know the organization has been high on your passing since the beginning, but... I'm not sure anyone saw you having this much success this quickly as a distributor. How have you been able to adapt so quickly as a rookie? I'm not a rookie anymore, mate. What do you mean? Oh. Um, all credit due to the coaching staff. All credit due to the coaching staff. They've done a great job getting me up. It's to a new speed. year. And that's the whole it's a new season. Why are they you calling a me a rookie still? You get set up as a rookie. Get used to the NBA grind. They take care of all the small stuff so you can focus on the ball, and that's a huge help, John. And what about the fans? What's the reception there? They've been great, too, for sure. They make me feel really welcome, you know, and supported. So that just gives you that much more motivation to work hard and gives the fan the great team they deserve. Hmm. Oh, another interview. Here we go. Hey, everyone. Bit of a press conference? Should I say? Um, What's on your mind, Andrew? Uh, Andrew! So your shoe company said they're releasing a custom colorway for you this season. What does that mean to you? Oh, 
Uh, it's, that's a new uh, question. Um, this is another step in my journey to fashion icon. Oh, Let's get that so, fashion bro, level it's just up. A step on my journey to becoming a fashion icon just allows me to put my stamp on an iconic silhouette, and it shows my name starting to ring out. Any thoughts on the particular color scheme? Yeah, yeah, you know, I like it. You know, it suits my flavor. Everyone gonna want these. Is that it? Uh, oh, no, we can pick another person. Um, we were John Locke last time. We'll go with, uh, I feel like we went with Frank last time as well. We'll go with Candace. Um, next up, let's Candace. You've been stellar all year. <laughs> I mean, how did the increased expectations that comes with winning Rookie of the Year affect your preparation for your sophomore season? Mm, good question. Um, I like in this you one. Know, Candace, I don't think anything's changed. I would have worked as hard as I possibly could regardless, but it did give me some extra motivation. You know, sometimes it's a slog. Doing two a days, getting up early in the morning, even though generally I, I love those type of things, man, I'm human. And on days when I need some help getting going, Knowing that everybody's going to be watching me, expecting more from me, that gives me motivation. I don't want the guys on the team to have to face media attention because I got off to a slow start due to a, like a, a lack of preparation. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Mm. But that's good motivation. Um, so what advice would you give to this year's rookies looking to make a similar impact in their first seasons? Well, good luck trying to do that. Um... Put yourself, be yourself, trying to be me isn't going to work. Put a good team around you and listen to them. That's a good advice right there. Um, Candace, you got to put a great team around you. And most importantly, you have to listen to them. Once you make the league, you got people from all over telling you how great you are. But if you listen to those people, you will never get any better. You got to listen to your coach because they always want the best for you. And, and, and you got to listen to the people that's closest to you, the ones who want the best for you because they'll tell you when you're messing up. And you're going to need that, trust me. There's a whole lot of yes men out there, and they'll be happy to ride with you as long as you're on top. But watch what happens when you're not, okay? They'll be gone just as quick. For real. <laughs> Is that something you've dealt with? Me? I, I, got a, I got a great group, top to bottom. But you see it all the time in this league, unfortunately. So you just got to mm. stay humble and work hard, and that's the only way. All right, no more questions? That was a long... Thank you. Long um, interview and long press conferences there, which is good to see because there was a part in our series where there was hardly anything. But anyway, 37 points, 3, three rebounds, 14 assists, 14 steals, 1 block, 83% 3-point uh, three field goal percentage. Phenomenal work. Um, we're playing so well. I love it. Let's continue on. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the City Slam stuff uh, like in the previous few episodes or... Like the last, like, uh, I don't know, like 30 episodes, 15 episodes. We're going to do, like, the City Slam stuff, do it one game uh, per episode. Unless something else happens, like the fashion starts to come up, which is what I'm hoping. Um, but anyway, let's uh, start the game. Oh, here we go. A bit of uh, cutscenes. Like it. The rules I'm a stamp on this, round. <laughs> this guy's got an ego. Really big ego. And we know who we're picking. We're going for our main man, Hendrix Cobb. Versus Devin Booker and Carl Anthony Towns. This is going to be interesting. Alright, well, we should easily win this. Let's get this dub. Get blocked. Get that shit out of here. You're passable. Shoot that three-pointer. In it goes. Lovely work. You're passable. Shoot that. Oh, what a shot. What do you got, Carl Anthony Towns? Oh! He stumbled! He's having troubles getting up! Oh! Gibson! Alright, let's go, Hendrix. Pass that ball back. Pass the ball back. Shoot that three. Woo! Nice shot. Nice shot. Alright, we cannot allow them to get three, otherwise they win. The passable. Oh my god. There we go. Easy win there! He fell for the fake. Allowed me to drive in for the one-handed slam. Fucking beautiful work. Uh, okay, so it's just... It's one out of five. Okay, so there's no really major cutscenes. So I assume we got to wait until we complete five games of, of one section, and then we might get a cutscene, um, which is pretty interesting. So I'm going to end up this episode here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure, right, you check out 
Horizon Zero Dawn at the moment, my other walkthrough. Really love this game. In my top 10 games, or favorite games, easily. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you later.